From UFOs to psychic powers and government conspiracies, history is riddled with unexplained events. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. Disease has shaped humanity, leaving indelible marks on our civilizations and our DNA. The Black Plague, caused by a bacteria known as Yersinia pestis, killed as many as 200 million people across Eurasia, fundamentally altering the course of human history. The war between human beings and disease continues today. Fortunately, our species found a super weapon, antibiotics. Administered in dilute solutions, these substances can kill the microorganisms responsible for everything from a sore throat to pneumonia. But this is not the end of the story. From China to the UK and Madagascar, scientists across the world have found antibiotics growing less effective. The bacteria are evolving, forcing our species to ask a terrifying question. What happens when the medicine stops working? Here's where it gets crazy. Multiple bacterial infections are exhibiting resistance to one or more types of commonly prescribed antibiotics such as penicillin and amoxicillin. While it sounds like something out of a sci-fi horror film, it's entirely possible that a future superbug may spread across the globe, a fatal infection immune to modern medicine. To understand how this could occur, we must first look at the life of bacteria. Every 20 minutes, a bacteria cell can divide, meaning that if we begin with one bacterium, at the end of an hour, we would have eight. Bacteria, like any other life form, adapts to environmental pressures. This is, put simply, evolution in fast forward. When doctors overprescribe antibiotics, we create opportunities for bacteria to adapt and cultivate resistance to medicine. Other factors are at play as well. Antibiotics aren't just used for people, and they aren't just used for the sick. In the US alone, the livestock industry uses almost 25 million pounds of antibiotics each year, dosing hogs, chickens, and cows, not because they are ill, but because it has a marginal effect on the weight of the animal and, in theory, prevents the infections common in factory farming. This also creates a massive evolution factory for the bacteria infecting these animals. Eventually, one of these bugs could transmit to human hosts. All of these disturbing facts lead to one big question. What about the pharmaceutical companies? Why can't they just create new antibiotics? Unfortunately, most of the pharmaceutical industry focuses on more profitable drugs. There's no financial incentive to create new antimicrobial cures. In other words, why make a drug that saves lives if it doesn't also make a profit? This is not a conspiracy theory. The human species is looking at a post-antibiotic future, a return to a world where an ear infection, a sore throat, childbirth, or pneumonia could be a death sentence, where transplants, surgeries, and chemotherapy become a thing of the past. To many, this may seem like alarmism. However, critics note the meat industry doesn't officially reveal how it uses antibiotics in livestock and ask whether profit should be the guiding path for Big Pharma. Will the tide of humanity's ancient war against disease turn on the dime of profit? Will human greed trigger the rise of the next superbug? Apparently, that's something pharmaceutical companies and livestock tycoons don't want you to know. To learn more about the rise of the superbug, tune in to our audio podcast at stufftheydontwantyoutoknow.com.